Thank you so much for coming out today. My name is Amoni Munyaneza. I am the founder of the choir. We are here in Jinja, Uganda at the source of the Nile and we have just had a wonderful time with the children as we send them off to come to North America, especially Canada. This tour though is very special to us. These Ugandans are in fact those called from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia with smooth skin that come as swift messengers to North America and alert us and how we can also find our role in God's plan for Israel and the nations in these latter days just as it has been written. Could you imagine if we invited them to teach us a song that even those of us who don't know how to sing all of a sudden would have a part in a song. Just like you have a part in a song, mm -hmm. we have a part in the Bible. There's a part mm -hmm. for Israel, mm -hmm. there's a part for the Jews. There's a part for different nations, including mm -hmm. Africa. In 2001, I went to Rwanda for the first time. And I had done mission work all over the world, but nothing affected me the way coming to Africa did. We saw what had happened in this country in the genocide, and every member of that team was deeply impacted. We just came home and we went. We have been working in Africa now for 18 years, helping children to go to school, helping orphans and widows to find something to do. And it's been an amazing journey as we have seen some of our children are now in university, the ones that we started with. We've got a lot of children that are in high school and, and grade school. Uh, it's, it's been beautiful. We began to hunger in recent years, saying we want to do more than just feed these kids and get them an education. We wanted to raise them up to be passionate and radical disciples, articulating a gospel that's connected to the nation of Israel. Our ministry's been twofold. Helping the church understand God's heart for Israel and the Jewish people, and, uh, and our role as the church as it relates to helping to bring the Jewish people home and resettling them in the land of Israel. I began to see the response of the Africans to a message out of a love for God to bless Israel. These are a people that understand slavery. They understand the exile of the Jewish people in the nations. For years, I've been feeling that Africa needs to do more than be a recipient of charity, that it's time for them to rise up and take their place as givers and minister to the nations. But it's going beyond that. It's now raising us up in Canada to bless the nation of Israel, the people of Israel, and help them return and settle in the land. We are working with Return Ministries to help the needy in Israel as well. And we decided that on this tour, we are going to bless them. So we want to invite you to participate in this incredible work. You need to know that with the same dollar, you're blessing the needy in Africa and helping to impact the restoration of the nation of Israel as well. So thank you so much for coming out today and we hope you enjoy the children and we hope to see you again.